Wait, come on. Statues of great historical figures like Robert E. Lee are being torn down across America. True! Good. Here are some facts about Lee that remind us why his statue should remain. Robert E. Lee was connected to George Washington Don't through care. his father, Light Horse Harry Lee, okay. Washington's cavalry commander. And his why is the audio mixing on this video so bad? Did they just find like a free track on YouTube and like download it and just like overlay the audio without checking the mix? Did they? His wife, Martha Washington's great granddaughter. Nobody cares. Lee's home at- Damn, dude, should we just put statues up of every fucking distant relative of Washington? What are you talking about? Arlington House was just 10 miles from Washington's Mount Vernon. What? Today, it is the site of Arlington National Cemetery. Okay. After 30 years of military service, Lee led U.S. Marines to crush the attempted slave rebellion by radical abolitionist John Brown in October 1859. Wait! That you're selling that as a positive? Wait, I appreciate them being so forthcoming with their pro-slavery perspective. Why should we immortalize Robert E. Lee with a statue? Well, he did slaughter slaves in a slave uprising. After 30 years of military service, Lee led U.S. Marines to crush the attempted slave rebellion. I actually can't believe they're throwing- this one- Boo. This one should have stayed in the drafts. What the fuck am I looking at? By radical abolitionist John Brown. In yeah, based anti-slavery John Br Yeah. Why would you say radical abolitionist like it's a bad thing? What? This is actually like a pro-slavery video. This is actually being framed as a pro-slavery video. Any scenario in which John Brown is being made the villain via the descriptor radical abolitionist there are no dog whistles here. This is just a pro-slavery video. In October 1859, 21 co-conspirators had seized a federal armory and all of them were killed or captured, including John Brown, who was tried and hanged for treason. Yeah, they were. it was a slave rebellion. They were human property. They fucking killed a bunch of slave. They fucking ground your honky necks into the dirt. I guess they're still mad. Lee deemed slavery a moral and political evil in any country. Then why did he kill the slave uprising? What, you... But considered it a greater evil to the white man than to the black race, since blacks are immeasurably better off here than in Africa. Is this, is this really a PragerU video? This is actually real. Wait. This is real, right? This is actually PragerU? Yeah, this is actually PragerU. The, these are literally just like Nazi tier arguments. This is actually real. I actually can't believe it. I've made I don't, what I've made videos before where I say like PragerU goes mask off, but now I feel like I shouldn't have because everything that I've everything else that I've ever said about them pales in comparison to how mask off this is. This is literally a pro slavery video. I. I, I mean, again, like I do, are we really surprised? No, you know what? I will, at the risk of coming off a fool, I will say, I am surprised that they're being this blatant. I actually am, yeah. Opposing secession, Lee foresaw no greater calamity for the country than a dissolution of the Union. But when Virginia seceded in a close vote, Lee resigned his commission. Despite offers to command Union forces, Lee opted to organize the defense of his native state. After four years as- This is, this is literally just a pro slave He's like, he's virtuous because he put down the slave rebellion. He thought blacks had it better as slaves than they did in Africa. And because he chose not to fight for the freedom of black people. As Confederate commander, Lee became an icon of reconciliation upon his surrender. Uh, as president of Virginia's Washington College, he favored education for freed slaves but okay. opposed their right to vote. Okay. Lee died from a stroke in 1870 and is buried beneath Lee Chapel in what's now Washington and Lee University. His legendary warhorse Traveler rests in a plot nearby. Oh. What, what argument is being made here? Two-thirds of this video is actually pro-slavery propaganda. He was a, a traitor. 
who resigned his commission because he would rather fight on the side of slavery, and then he died like a bitch. What are you gonna do? Were the arguments? I don't know. What does this have to do with him being a statue? It seems like he kind of sucked. One of the big, one of the big lies that gets told a lot is like people will say, "Oh yeah, dude, like Lee wasn't that bad. He was just like a hero for a state." No, dude. Listen, I don't care if you just really like your fucking home southern state. Okay, if if you're fighting for slavery, you're fighting for slavery. Okay, just chill. Um, and I like, do you, like, I, I, what would you say about like a concentration camp guard who's just happy to be a part of resurrecting the glory of like ancient Germany or something? You know, it doesn't matter. You're still doing the thing. This is just pro-slavery. I actually don't know what to say. Yeah, Lee, all, yeah, th th we also don't talk about that, but Lee also didn't want the Confederate States memorialized. He wouldn't want statues of Confederate soldiers. Yeah, why don't we have more John Brown statues? That's the real shit. <laughs> Here's why Lee's statue should remain. Oh yeah, and then they tweet this. I don't know, my dude Prager, you. You, li you literally just put out a video that was like, Here's why. Boo, boo, boo. Here's why we should keep Robert E. Lee's statues up. He fought to keep slavery, and thought slavery was good for the blacks. Also, he crushed a slave rebellion by radical abolitionist John Brown. What? <laughs> it's so interesting how they say that the Democratic Party was the party of slavery, as the Democratic Party was the party of the Confederacy, except these days, it's always Republicans who defend the Confederate flag, always Confederate, or always Republicans who say the South will rise again, always Republicans who defend Confederate statues. That's so interesting, dude. If it's, if it's really the Democrats who were the party of slavery, Jim Crow, and the fucking Confederacy and shit like that, it's so crazy how the Republican Party is the one who now lays claim to their cultural legacy. That's so weird. Um, yeah, I like the was over here. Also, was the party of emancipation racial integration? Hold on there, bucko. Emancipation? You mean like what John Brown tried to do? Racial integration? You mean like what Robert E. Lee opposed? What are we talking about here? I, I mean, I will, I will admit, I wonder who wrote that, like that segment. I bet, I wish I could like get into the internal workings because I bet that video was written by like a, like a white nationalist, I'd be willing to bet. Usually, because the way these YouTube projects work, it's not like Dennis Prager writes every script. It's usually like they get outsourced and people like claim to make one project or another. And I have a feeling that one was definitely fucking written by like a, like a, a, a groiper or something like that. Um, how much does PragerU make? I don't know. PragerU is AstroTurf though. It gets its money from oil billionaires. Um, Dennis Prager himself is quite wealthy. Um, yeah. Fringe.